Howdy YouTube, Darlington Farm here. Well, got another Miller video for you here. As you can see, I picked up a Schoolmate 150 to go along with my Multimatic 200 over here. So let's get this thing opened up and see what kind of goodies we get in here. Let's see. We've got an owner's manual. We don't need that. Ooh, hello. We got the spool gun. I know that was a little silly, but uh, yeah spool gun here and it looks like ooh, we got some mig tips that come with it which is kind of cool it looks like this just takes the standard uh tweeko i believe they are called style tips which is pretty cool and i don't see anything else here in the box I... there we go it looks like that's all you get um one thing i will say i ordered this from indiana oxygen and they just shipped the box like this as is. Fortunately, the gun didn't get destroyed, but when I got it, the nozzle was poking out the hole here. So Indian Oxen, you guys might package these a little better next time, but it's a nice thing about as where I live is I can order stuff from them and get it the next day, which is pretty cool since I'm only about an hour's drive away. Interesting gun here. Actually, it looks like the center of the gun here might be tweaked a bit. Oh, I hope it actually works okay. I'd rather not have to dick with returning this, but... So if you don't know what this is, it's a Miller Spoolmate 150. What this does is lets you MIG weld aluminum. Um, you just put the little one pound spools a wire in here. Since the aluminum wire is kind of so spaghetti-like, you can't feed it through a standard MIG gun here. It won't feed properly through the long uh, hose here so this lets you MIG off of that and this just has a standard uh, connector to where you can just plug this in to say the 12 VS feeder or 12 VS uh, feeder behind me here I think you can plug this in most of the other you know Millermatic welders and um, yeah I'm pretty excited to get this thing going here I did pick up Two spools of uh, 4043, uh, 30 thousandths and 35 thousandths while I was in, at Indiana Oxygen today uh, up in Lafayette. Now I will say, I was blown away. I looked at these spools at Tractor Supply. They wanted $27 a piece for these one pound spools of wire. I went over to Indiana Oxygen to see if they were any cheaper. They were $8.99 a roll. So if you're looking for MIG wire, aluminum MIG wire, shop around and check out your local welding supply places because I was shocked at how cheap this was at the uh, local welding supply place but let's go ahead and get this thing attached to the machine and see how it works. So the first thing we have to do here is pop open the side cover on our Multimatic 200. I uh, already had this disconnected because I was using it for some stick welding. We just pull down on the little tab here for the tensioner and spool our just hard wire back up onto our MIG spool here. This just so happens to be, whoa, 023. And the idea there is to not let it go crazy in bird's nest. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that through the hole there and bend it back around so it doesn't go anywhere. Now we'll just go ahead and put that back the way it was. Now what we have to do is go ahead and remove our steel MIG gun here, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull this guy out of here. The way you do this is just loosen up on this uh, screw here, and then you disconnect the uh, electrode there, and then just slide this guy right out of there. Now we've disconnected our MIG, our steel uh, MIG umbilical. Now we can go ahead and slide in our spool gun umbilical. I think that's what it's called. Anyway. So basically this is the blank that goes in there to where it takes the shielding gas and the electricity. Slides in there like that, clamps down. Now since there's no wire going through this, we don't have to mess with that. Now this just connects up here where it says gun control, which <laughs> I'm not touching that one. I don't want hate mail on either side there. And then this just goes back in here like this and we can close it up. So we need to switch over gas. With MIG welding aluminum you need uh, straight argon. So this is my CO2 hose. I'm just going to disconnect this. And then I have this other hose coming from my argon. 
which normally I have plugged into the back of this machine on the TIG side, we're going to swap it over to the MIG side and I'll probably pick up some more of their disconnect, quick disconnects where I can just do this without having to use tools, but for the time being, I'm just going to switch this over to 100% argon. Whoops, and it helps if I could actually use a crescent wrench. There we go. All right, so next what we have to do is connect our power cable from the spool gun to the positive electrode there. Now we need to go ahead and switch the machine on. There we go. As you can see, I got this running off 220 right now. Now we need to take our process selector over here from stick to MIG aluminum right there. Please use spool mate and then 100% pure argon. All right, so now uh, I'm just going to try auto set because I really have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to MIG welding aluminum. I have not tried this at all. Um, so let's see, it looks like we've got spool mate 100 here, 30 thousandths wire, and 3 sixteenths of an inch material. So I think what I'm going to try and do is select, see if I can select the spool mate. Oh, there we go, spool mate 150. And we've got 4043 wire, and I have 30 thousandths. So right there, it's pretty slick. You just add, dial in what uh, wire feeder you have. In this case, we've got the Spoolmatic 150. We've got 4000 series aluminum wire. And we'll scroll through here and see what other ones we have. If we have, we've got 5000 series wire. So this is auto set for, you know, 4000 and 5000 series wire, which is pretty cool. I couldn't find any 5000 locally. So we'll go back here to 30 thousandths. And the aluminum I have to practice on here is 8th inch, so there we're all set up. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and try and feed this wire in here. It looks like you just pop the side cover off and feed this in the straw. And then this is the deal that takes tension off of the rollers here. I'm going to try and do this where you can see what's going on here. We'll slide this guy down in there. So I need to take off that and pull the tip out because I'm not exactly sure what size tip that is. I've got 030 wire there. Oh, I don't think I have the... Oh, it helps if you actually get the wire up in the... up in the deal. Well, I might have to trim that off and put a... Oh, put on a fresh end. Let's try this again here and see if we can get this to work. All right, there's the wire. Oh, there we go. We got it sucked through. Ah, there we go. All right. Go ahead and slide this spool on there. Put our cover on. Let's see, what size tip is this? We got a 030 tip. Perfect. All right, we are almost ready to weld. Put our cover on here. Clip off of our tail here and we're ready to go. This is so now I freely admit I have never used a spool gun before. Nor have I ever MIG welded aluminum. So I'm kind of interested to see. I guess I should let this purge for a minute how this turns out. All right. Here goes nothing. Whoa! Holy crap, that's fast! <laughs> hey, that works pretty decent. I was uh, <laughs> not expecting that. That really, uh, woo! It's not like steel MIG. It really is hot and fast. That's pretty neat. I'm interested to see how much current I'm running. So if I can, if I can run this off 110, we'll try that again here. Boy, that, uh, whoo, that is hot and fast. That's pretty neat. I'm uh, interested to try this out a little bit more here. Man, decent. That's cool. That actually doesn't look half bad. And I didn't really clean up that piece of aluminum at all. I'm going to turn the wire feed down just a tad here and uh, see how that goes. Huh. 
seems like you really got to run it fast and you got to push so I'll bump it back up to where it was but that's interesting I'm uh, gonna have to play with this some more and kind of learn how this works this is a uh, this is neat I uh, never tried this before what kind of amperage I'm pulling 136 amps all right well I hope you enjoyed this unboxing and first use of Spoolmate 150 here. I should have some more videos about this guy up soon. I just wanted to pick one of these up and try it out because it seems like every now and then I get a call for mobile aluminum and I just wanted to be able to do that. So anyway, I'm Darlington Farm. Please post any questions below, anything else you'd like to see with the spool gun here. And um, yeah, I'm Darlington Farm. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe and check back to my channel for more welding, farm, and sort of outdoorsy content. Thank you for watching.